Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. In a move that is a victory for common sense, something that should have been happening years ago, and something which 99.9% .9 of people will agree with, a man is going to a man's prison. Uh, the man is currently being held in Cornton Vale, a woman's prison. He is a man who ended the life of another prisoner and deserves to spend the remainder of his life in prison. Unfortunately, he will probably be let out at some point. But, of course, he is very, very scared about going to this man's prison, which is why he pretended to be a woman in the first place, so that he could do his time in a woman's jail, because he's a coward. Well, now he is moaning, and he's saying, oh, but if I go to a man's jail, I'll get picked and I'll get bullied, and I might end up losing my life. Well, you weren't too worried about that when you strangled someone to death. Let's have a look and see what's going on with this uh, this strange mentally ill man who thinks he can game the system and stay out of a man's prison. Not anymore. Here goes. So decision to move controversial Scots trans prisoner to male jail is welcomed by campaigners after six years. The inmate convicted for ending the life of a prisoner, a fellow prisoner, has been moved out of the female estate and into the male estate after six years. And there he is as he tries and pretends to be a woman. Although with that uh, that strange Adam's apple, you know, they always have that picture. They always try and do that. And, oh, and I always have to like that. Trying to hide the big manly Adam's apple and the big manly jawline. The big manly hands. I don't want to put their hands up there. Uh, it fools nobody. Uh, prison bosses have been moved uh, have moved one of Scotland's most controversial trans prisoners to a male jail. So he's now male because it's illegal to house a female prisoner in a male jail. So he is a man. We can now call him a male, which I will anyway. Uh, and this is after six years with female in inmates, a decision that has been hailed a welcome and interesting development by campaigners. Uh, Sophie Eastwood, whose real name is Daniel, so we'll call him Daniel from now on, has been moved from Calton Vale Women's Jail to Shots, which is all male. And the issue of single-sex prisons hit headlines due to a backlash of gender reform policies and a trans double R of women being sent to the women's estate. And now he also is in the man's prison because they're all men, despite what they want to call themselves. The move on Tuesday this week flies in the face of the Scottish prison service policy in recent years, which respected the gender chosen by each prisoner. You can't respect it because it's not respectful. It's actually misogynistic. Um, and you shouldn't be respecting these people. Um, uh, da -da -da -da. Gender critical activist group Keep Prisons Single Sex said this is a very welcome and interesting development. Most recent data showed seven male prisoners in the women's prisons in Scotland, all held for, you know, V offences, and that's physicality and or sexual assault and or the R of a woman. Does Eastwood's transfer indicate policy change is coming, is the question they're asking. Uh, the shock decision also comes after Eastwood, 38, recently told the Daily Record of fears of survival in an all-male jail. Well, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. You cannot sit there and claim that you are worried about your life when you are someone who did not care about someone else's life. You uh, ended the life of another person, another human being, and therefore you cannot be uh, treated accordingly in anything other than what you are, which is scum. Isla Bryson, who uh, is, uh, says was known as Adam Graham, still known as Adam Graham, uh, when carrying out um, these uh, sex attacks on two women, was earmarked for a woman's jail until a huge storm erupted and they had to push the man into a male prison. The pushback is widely attributed as one of the reasons for Nicola Sturgeon's resignation. No, 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 that's what she's claiming. The real reason is, of course, as we know, that she knew Plod were uh, about to be knocking on her door. First Minister Hamza Youssef preempted the ongoing review of SPS policy by announcing that any trans prisoner who has been guilty of um, you know, physical or sex crime against women will now be held in men's jails. They should take that out and just simply go, every male prisoner regardless of how they self-identify, is legally a man and will be going to a man's prison. End of story. It's the correct thing and it's what people of Scotland want. Certainly what the women in prison want. The last thing they want is a man going around doing whatever he likes in a prison. Uh, a source said, the shifting of 
Daniel Eastwood is a very interesting case because this is a prisoner who is quite complex, not really, uh, and who has lived uh, in a women's estate relatively quietly for six years. There are various other women's units in jails up and down Scotland, but he has been sent to shots, which is conspicuously all male. Good, it's where he needs to be. It is not clear if this is a precursor of a new direction of traffic that might be revealed in the SPS's current review of trans prisoners, which has been a long time in the making and is long overdue because they don't want to upset the mentally ill minority of about three or something. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. They care, but then why are they doing these crimes? Why are these people committing crimes if they're too scared to go to prison, into a man's prison? Speaking to the Daily Record in February this year, Eastwood said, I was treated, I'm sorry, I was threatened by other prisoners in the male estate when I started tra to transition. No, what you mean was you were treated and so you decided to transition to get away from all these threats by these men. Nothing to do with you actually being a woman. You just didn't want to get beaten up because you're a sad, inadequate little shit. Uh, and when you say transition, we all know that shorthand for I'm never going to get my cock cut off. If you truly want to transition, let's see that go. Otherwise, you're just a mentally ill man. Um, the main threat was that I would suffer serious sexual, um, you know, physicality and attacks. Well, tough. No, don't have any. What, don't, what's the problem there? You want to act like that? You get what you deserve. Uh, he said, I think the pro Scottish prison staff manages trans prison as well, but it would be impossible for me to feel safe in a male prison. It was certainly not very safe for your cellmate. That's for true. Uh, Eastwood added, I have no history of uh, gender attacks, but you do. You ended the life of someone. You are a man who ended the life of another man. So you do have a history of it. Maybe not gender, but you certainly are physica you know, physically attacking people. Uh, but the recent outcry has led to the SBS having to review every trans person in custody. And I believe I'm in the right place. No one else does. And I don't think I could survive in the male estate. Well, that's tough. Let's see how long you do. I'll lay odds. Let's go week, a month, a year. Who knows? Who cares? Nobody cares. Uh, Eastwood had then been jailed for dangerous driving when he ended the life of his cellmate, Paul Algie, 22, in 2004. A month before the due date for release from Dumfries Young Offenders Institution, Eastwood strangled Algie with shoelaces. Eastwood was ordered to serve a minimum 15 years at the High Court in Glasgow, but has now served 19. Still not long enough. Uh, he has been living as a woman, although he's not, since he started to transition in 2017 and said he deeply regrets his crime. Well, I'm sure he does as he's looking at the prospect of spending the remaining days of his life in a male prison. It's understood that the SPS has made a decision on Eastwood after consideration of his own personal circumstances and it does not reflect an underlying decision to move prisoners born male into the male prison. And yet it should. It absolutely should. Uh, a Scottish Prison Service spokesman said, we do not commit on individuals. Yes, you do. You sometimes have to because of the various reasons around it. So don't come up with that guff we do not commit uh, comment on. It's a load of crap. You do and have in the past. Uh, he said, all trans men and trans women in our care are accommodated in a way which meets the risks and needs of them as individuals. How many trans men are in men prisons? How many physical, you know, born female prisoners are in men's prisons? I'll give you the answer. None. Not one. Not at all. Why? Because women who call themselves men are still women and they are treated like that. So why are we doing the complete opposite for men who pretend to be women? They should be in the men's estate, not the women's. Until you start putting women in a men's prison, you shouldn't be putting men in a woman's prison. Um, Eastwood was one of five transgender inmates held in the female prison estate. Their status became a political hot potato, where he's two very small potatoes, I think, and a sausage, causing a huge embarrassment to former First Minister Nicola Sturgeon as she tried to force through Scotland's gender recognition reform bill and couldn't even refer to Adam Graham as him or her, just kept saying the prisoner or describing him as an R. Wouldn't say him or her. And then the number of times she tied herself up and actually did say him. Uh, and every time she did, it was pointed out to her because she said, no, you know, it's, it's absolutely stupid, isn't it? Uh, anyway, uh, this bill would allow people as young as 16 to self-identify without medical oversight. So if 16, you're old enough to make these decisions. You're wise enough to make these decisions. And yet at 25, you can still are a child and avoid jail because you're not old enough 
to understand this thing. Very weird, isn't it, in Scotland? Uh, in January, Scottish Secretary Alistair Jack used the Section 5 order to block the introduction of the controversial reforms from becoming law, which, of course, he did, and of which 99.9% .9 of people completely agree with, simply because you don't want it happening. You need Nobody's safeguarding children, for a start. The whole thing is a joke, as indeed are the SNP. Anyway, I'm going to round off and come up. Whilst I welcome the, uh, the decision to put this man back in a man's prison, I do think it shouldn't just be the case of, oh, it's uh, particularly attacks on women that, you know, that uh, force it. It should be all trans must go to the prison of which their physical sex is, not their little mental aberration. Whatever you are, you are still what you are. Uh, and a simple blood test, if you know, if you're, if you're unsure, or a little, have a quick glance down the front of the, of the, uh, the pants, you say, open up the pants. Oh, look, you've got testicles. In you go, laddie. I'm a lady. No, not with that cock and balls, you're not. And in you go. And you can cut. No, you can go in. You can call yourself Susan and wear a pretty frock. Nobody cares. You will end up having an awful lot of sex. And that's fine. You wanted to do the time. Obviously, that's why you did the crime. So you must enjoy it. Why else would you go to prison? It's a choice. Going to prison is actually, ultimately, a choice, isn't it? You can choose to commit a crime or you can choose not to. So prisoners are in prison through the decisions they've made, the choices they've made, and they've effectively chosen to go to prison. And they cannot then be put into the prison that they would like to go to. They must be going into the prison to which they are deserving of. And all male prisoners should go to a male prison. And that's when they can learn to rue their mistakes and swear never to do it again. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see seeing here on the channel, do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, stay out of prison. And goodbye.